Bum, bum, bada, bum, 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 bada, bum, bum. Welcome back, my friends, to the BJJ Brick Quick Podcast. My name is Byron, and this is your Quick Jiu-Jitsu Podcast. We're going to be talking in the next few episodes about technology in your gym. Having the most high-tech digital mats. That sweet downloaded gi. <laughs> no, uh, this kind of came into my mind. Uh, a week or two ago, we were at the gym training, and somebody wanted to show the Kimura, the standing Kimura that Sakuraba did to Henzo. And the funny thing was, <laughs> only me and the other instructor, the other black belt, and maybe one other student, knew what this was. Man, I feel old. <laughs> Who's Sakuraba, they were saying, and what is this what is this Kimura? I was like, oh my goodness, he's one of my favorite grapplers or MMA guys from back in the day. Well, it didn't take long and and Jake Fox, the gym owner, heard this discussion. He wasn't involved in this class, but he heard us talking and above our mat there's a a TV, I don't know, fairly big. Uh, all TVs seem big nowadays. <laughs> and uh, he turned it on, and <clears throat> it got on. He got on to YouTube. He typed in Sakuraba. If you want to go check out Sakuraba, if you don't know who Sakuraba is, it's worth uh, you know learning. He's worth learning about. S a k u r a b a Sakuraba Kazushi Sakuraba is his name. Uh, also known as the Gracie Hunter. And uh, Sakuraba was, was fighting with Henzo. He fought a lot of the Gracies, and he did very well. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the surprise. But uh, with Henzo, um, he Henzo kind of got to his back in a standing position, and Sakuraba locked up a Kimura around the, I don't know, the, the arm of Henzo. And Henzo tried to get his arm out, whatever, and Sakuraba rotated, and they spun, and they fell to the ground. And when they fell, Henzo's elbow was dislocated. And the the ref stopped the fight, or the, I don't know if the corner did, or what, whatever. The, the fight was over, and you could watch the video, and, and Henzo pops his arm back in. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, this is a this is a pretty crazy thing that happened and uh, and just to just to have that there so people could know who Sakuraba they didn't have to have to go and and go home and do do this little bit of a historical lesson they could do it right there in class because I know most people wouldn't they wouldn't bother to go check but when you see this thing happen it's amazing and I don't know if your gym has. Uh, a TV connected to the internet, you know, in the gym or not, but it was a nice resource. I didn't even think that, you know, I thought about, hey, I could pull my phone over here and, and show that, which is also an option if you have a, you know, get get a small class or gathered around a phone and and watch and just kind of demonstrate what, what we're doing. We want to do this safely. This is kind of a high-speed uh, technique that did, you know, involve an injury that was kind of happened as they fell. But uh, it it was kind of a really cool uh, way to use technology. So I think that's a good visual because he could show this thing and he could, you know, demonstrate it and we could train it. But when you see it happen in an actual fight, it really sticks in your mind. And we don't typically do this at, at the gym I train at, but it's it's there. It's an option. If somebody wants to to demonstrate something, I think it's a good way to... Uh, kind of expand your teaching ability, and uh, yeah, it was it was really nice to see everybody instantly knew who Sakurab was. I think everybody knew who Henzo was. <laughs> I hope maybe not everybody. Henzo Gracie, a legendary fighter, you know, in his own right, uh, fighting another legendary fighter in Sakuraba. It's just uh, a, a good way to kind of get everybody up to, to the same speed. And I and I 
look for opportunities to do this again and maybe take the initiative because this was Jake's idea. He popped it up and he you guys you guys got it. We stopped class. It it took, you know, four three or four minutes, maybe five to 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 watch this. But well worth it. You now I hope that I'm not getting this done to me all the time and <laughs> but it's a part of his history in this example. But the same thing, if you're having trouble explaining a technique or or showing something Maybe you have in your back pocket, you know, this particular video is, you know, so-and-so shows it really well. Hinzo shows this technique really nicely. I'm going to teach it. It's not going super great. Let's just pop up the video and watch it as a class. Everybody sees the same thing from the same angle, you know, and, and maybe you have your, you know, BJJ Fanatics video ready to go and, and show something like that. I don't know. It was great to have it in the gym. It was a, a great teaching tool, and uh, I look forward to using that in the future. And uh, yeah, maybe your instructor also has a has a way to do this. If not, your phone works great, and it might just be the the idea that I want to work on this technique. I need to just show my my main training partner this thing, you know, before we roll. Maybe I email it to them, you know, and 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 they get a get a look at that, and then they'll be on the same page as I am. They can check it out. Hope you've enjoyed this quick podcast. If you want to support this show. Check us out on Patreon. Go to bjjbrick.com and uh, click our link to Patreon there or click our shop. You can get the audiobook your first year of BJJ. The money goes to support the podcast. Hope you have a great day. Hope technology is uh, on your side. And stay sweaty, my friends. <laughs>